6.5% of all patients admitted to our NHS hospitals are due to adverse drug reactions. 15% of patients get adverse drug reactions while in hospital. At this very moment in time, 10 800 bed hospitals, that's 8,000 beds, are occupied by patients with adverse drug reactions at a cost to the NHS of 1.6 billion pounds a year. We know that we are all different, that uh, one size fits all doesn't work in medicine and uh, therefore uh, we know that we need to tailor treatment to individual patients. The centre here has got all the expertise we need to try and develop new products uh, to assist in patient safety. We've made a first line product now um, that's just been launched to the market and it's going to potentially work for specific patient groups being prescribed specific drugs. I was taking Tegretol and then after two weeks of taking Tegretol I developed a rash which turned into Stephen Johnson syndrome and TENS. All my skin was just blisters, um, all my face, everywhere was just blisters. Eventually a professor from dermatology recognised it was Stephen Johnson syndrome and then stopped to treat me from there. To go from bench to bedside and back, but also from molecule to the human body and back. And those two things allow us to be able to really understand uh, adverse drug reactions, develop uh, interventional strategies for prevention and treatment. The centre here has also then associated specific HLA alleles uh, with the likelihood of reactions to prescribed drugs. To take key knowledge out of the department into our organisation to help us develop a screening assay uh, to predict drug reactions in general. It's going to save people who are not on the right drug at the right time um, and not having to change drugs. Um, so it benefits everybody, not just patients, it benefits everybody. Thank you.